buongiorno welcome back to tales from tuscany today is a little bit special it's a surprise and as you know i haven't put out a vlog for a couple of weeks between christmas new year family then coming down with quite a hefty flu and virus and then some other bits and pieces that come up just life happens doesn't it so i wanted to present to you today something that I've been holding off and it's super exciting and I've got my dad in this photo and this is a photo of my dad at the end of his life actually probably taken just a couple of weeks before he passed and he was totally blind at that moment and but I know he's looking down on me and I know that this part of the journey perhaps I don't know why, but it feels like he's even more so part of this part of the journey than any other part, even though he's been with me all the way, absolutely all the way. So that's why I thought I'd just take a moment to introduce what I'm presenting to you today. Have my papa <laughs> in this little part here in the introduction with you to share it with him step by step. And... Oh, how do I start? <laughs> so today was something that I started filming back in July of last year, just after David had left me, actually. And so actually could have been, yes, July, August. And then you'll see it's in stages. Now, when we first started looking in Italy, it was my dream, my greatest dream, to in fact have some land, which would be the dream of many, but budget didn't permit us to have the kind of home we wanted, um, the kind of situation we wanted, and still have land in the areas we were looking in. So you compromise, don't you? And that's something I'm always talking to people about when they're looking at homes is, the compromises that sometimes you have to make, not everybody, but sometimes you have to make compromises. But they were compromises that David and I were both so happy to make. And we've been so happy with our journey so far. And we just keep on working forward, continuing to dream, continuing to work on our projects. As you know, we have a little cantina project starting very soon, in fact, the geometry and workmen are meant to be going there in the next couple of days. So very soon I'll be able to start hopefully sharing with you what's happening there. But this was totally left to field. What this is all about today. You're not going to expect this. We didn't expect it. It's serendipity. It's faith. It's someone looking down on me, I believe. And it's just a whole combination of all sorts of things that led one step to another. And I'm not going to go into all the intricacies today. I'm just going to let you enjoy this first part of the journey. And as we go along, I'll share more and more about how this happened. It's a bit of a story and you really won't believe it. Um, you'll see that I use the word miracle on the screen at some stage and it truly is feeling like a small miracle to us, that's for sure. So. This is all about another step, another detour that we're taking on our trip to our lives in Italy. And it incorporates very much a massive part of my initial dream. And it's a bit different because it has nothing to do with us actually purchasing a property. But things have just come to us, I say, from my angels. <laughs> And from anyone else that's looking after me because it's just such an unusual situation. But you'll soon get to learn a little bit more about it. So let's go and look at the next part of what is going to be our Tales from Tuscany story. I hope you really, really enjoy it. I hope you fall in love with it as much as I have already and David has already as far as you can without physically being there like I have but very soon in the next few months when we get back we'll be able to share so much more with you so stay tuned and let's go into nature 
and see what's happening. See you at the end of the video. Oh, sì. Sì. Ah, sì, c'è qualche cosa forse. Quindi sono tutti questi ulivi qui dietro, il terreno sta dietro infatti. E poi fino alla piccola strada, diciamo. Ok. There's Chiani above us. So we're directly below. You'll recognize the towers from the swimming pool on the top of the hill, the church, and we are directly below with the first top house, the higher one. This is the higher property, sorry about the glare, which has this smaller house which is still on two levels and which you can make habitable. And as you can see, I'm not going in, but it does have a window. It would have the most spectacular views because it's up much higher. Um, you can see a road going to a property over there. And basically this is all completely surrounded by your olive groves, but the land here finishes just here, and then there's another property, agricultural property behind. Well, I'm gone on a little magical mystery tour this morning, but here I am. Look at this blue sky, and look at this beautiful building. I'll show you the front when I walk back down again. But me and my friends are just going through these beautiful olive trees and headed up the hill. There we go. Isn't this magnificent? And listen to the silence. It's been heavily raining, so it's so good to be here and see that there is no mud to speak of. How awesome. Oh, yeah. Now, we might want to give... Are you all right there? <clears throat> this is where it does get a little bit grassy, so mm -hmm. to speak. Right, we found building number two. And if all is well, and you all see this video, because it will only ever be shown if happen this happens, this little building is going to be mine and David's. Oh my gosh. Let's have a look. Let me get around here and show you from the side. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just it's might, might be clearer on this side. I'll just walk here, it's much clearer. There we go. This was full of yellow flowers last time I came because all these great big stalks were all great big yellow flowers and it was so pretty. So that's the cantina if you like. So here we go. This is upstairs of the little building. So as you can see, it's really, really lovely high ceilings. It has terracotta floors that you can hardly even see because of the mess, obviously. It's been open to the elements for so long. But the geometry's been in here and said it's really safe. So we will be working on it, obviously, in the future. And this is going to be just a lovely little kind of living space with a little tiny kitchen corner and, um, you know, probably a pull-out sort of divan bed. 
and we will be rebuilding this lovely old corner chimney here. And I'll just show you the, the view again. Obviously new windows needed, but take a look at those Tuscan views. Oh my goodness gracious me. What did you find? Oh, a little blue. Yes. Oh, this, last time I was here, so this is all bright, great big bright yellow daisies. So it was so pretty. Just repeat that, would you please, no, 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 Mr. No, 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 Owen? No, 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 oh, Owen just made one of his wonderful hmm, puns. He said, are they re... No, he thought of the bamboo, and I said, no, they're re's. And he went, oh, put your loo out here, and you can have a loo read. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, you get caught out regardless. So these are some of the really healthy, mature trees that we have this beautiful line. They're obviously so happy here. And I would just want to leave those as they are because a lot of the other trees will need to be cut. But these ones are just too magnificent to touch, I think. And potentially a future driveway would come up through that lovely flat, um, what would you call that, a, a field or a prairie, whatever you want to call it, along the side. Okay. Um, and bring it up through here and then just cut up and it would continue around the front of the house. We've got two trees here that are just enormous and they're sitting in a wet spot and I was just saying to my friends, <laughs> I thought olive, grow, olive trees didn't particularly like being damp but obviously the drainage is perfect. There's a little creek that runs along that bank and that's why further down you've got all those reeds. But this field that I was concerned about after all the rain, we've had days and days of very torrential rain, is solid, it's not muddy, so really well drained, which is just sensational. And look at the vistas from this field of the back of that beautiful villa. It's cypress trees, it's very well kept olive grove. I mean, the vistas in every direction are just beautiful. And all you can hear is bird song. Papa, this is for you. This was your dream as well. You would have been so happy here. Ti amo. So, I've just been standing in front of these ma majestic olive trees. There are hundreds literally on this land. And if you're seeing this video today, it's because this land and those beautiful homes, or the beautiful homes that I probably will show you after this conversation, I'm sorry, I'm not sure what order I'm filming in. <laughs> so please excuse anything that seems out of order, but I'm just, my mind's all over the place and I'm so happy. I'm just walking through here with some friends and this is perhaps a future project of ours and you'll soon know if you see this video you'll know for sure because I won't be showing it if it doesn't happen but I couldn't not film while I was here and I couldn't not film to show my beautiful David back home and this may be a future project of ours and it's a long lifelong dream of mine to have land in Italy and I couldn't afford it when we first looked but because of a special circumstance that's come up and an opportunity to do something without great expense, this has become ours. And I'm just so over the moon, over the moon. Isn't this 
marvellous. And I have a vine in a tree. <laughs> we were just looking at this olive tree. Is it grapes? Oh, you've got it on your wrap. Good girl. We were just saying this looked like vine leaves going through this olive tree. And I thought, how the hell did they get there? But as I said, someone might have just thrown some, something on the ground and things take off. So we've got a vine growing up through this olive tree here. Well, that's a good sign. That means I can plant my vines if they grow. Excellent. I want to put a vine up near the house. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And back again to the first little beautiful building, which I believe is 1700s or 17th century, perhaps. I can't remember now whether they said Milicitichanto or the 17th century, but it's like a little stone tower with a tiny little building that was added on at the front. Um, and that will be decided on what happens there, but that will be part of the future project with a friend. And again, the beautiful olive trees in rows to the side, back to the front field and the little white road in front and those wonderful Tuscan hills in the foreground. And if you can see up here, this is really interesting, just in between those trees above, there's a, a telephone tower. So oddly enough, we're much more remote, except we're only two minutes from Kiani by car, and yet we're kind of here on our own, and yet it's much better car re uh, phone reception than we have at home because in the little ancient Borgo, the phone doesn't really get through the stone houses very well. And yet here, of course, just stamping my feet because we saw a little viper back there. <laughs> but here, we're just near the phone tower on all in good clear aim of it. So that is the only neighbor because it's a dead end and that's a beautiful Aguri Turismo up there with their gorgeous olive grove to the side and just doing one more little round about here for you and there we are hopefully hopefully fingers crossed all goes well thank you universe for helping us to make our dreams come true thank you all of my beautiful angels for guiding me to this beautiful beautiful place so there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> what do you think? I'd love to see in the comments below what you think of this next part of the journey. Isn't it exciting? We are so excited. We're so over the moon. We're so grateful to our lovely friends that have decided to share their joy of purchasing something in Italy with us. And gosh, just so many wonderful, exciting times to come and things to share with you. So we really hope that you enjoy it and that you come along with us. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, if you're really enjoying what we're doing. It makes such a difference to the growth of our little channel. Don't forget to maybe give it a thumbs up. Love your comments. As you can see, I am a writer and I love to write back. <laughs> so don't worry about leaving me a long comment if you like. I'll probably write you a novel back. <laughs> and any way at all that you can show us any form of support is so, so welcomed and so appreciated. So waiting to share more about this lovely project the cantina project and everything else with you very very soon until then alla prossima we'll see you soon grazie a tutti e ciao ciao for now baci bye